Good day, beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. In the hushed whispers of the night, amid the soft flicker of candlelight, a profound truth stirs in the depths of our souls, a truth that calls us to awaken from our spiritual slumber and confront the urgent cry of the souls that linger in the shadows of the afterlife. Welcome to a journey beyond the veil of this world, where the invisible realm of purgatory beckons us with a message both haunting and hopeful. This is not merely a tale. It is a divine plea, a cosmic urgency for us to heed the cries of those who have departed but remain bound by the chains of their past. Imagine, if you will, a vast and echoing expanse, shrouded in an ethereal mist. It is neither heaven nor hell, but a realm of purification where souls languish, yearning for liberation. This is purgatory, a place of transition, where the weight of past sins bears heavily, yet the hope of redemption glimmers faintly in the distance. For many, this realm remains a distant concept, a footnote in theological discourse. Yet, through the eyes of Maria Sima, an Austrian mystic whose visions have pierced the veil between the living and the dead, this reality becomes starkly vivid. Born in 1915, Maria Sima dedicated her life to the silent suffering of souls in purgatory. Her experiences were not mere dreams but divine revelations that revealed the intense suffering and the desperate pleas of those trapped in this intermediate state. Through Maria's eyes, we glimpse the agonizing reality of these souls, a reality filled with longing for relief and intercession. Her messages are not just stories. They are a profound call to action, urging us to recognize our role in their liberation. In the depths of purgatory, the souls cry out, their voices a haunting echo that reverberates through the corridors of eternity. They are not ghosts of malice, but souls burdened with the weight of their past lives, seeking redemption through our prayers and acts of love. Maria Sima's revelations illuminate their plight with startling clarity. She spoke of souls who appear to her in visions, their faces etched with sorrow yet shining with hope, pleading for the grace of our prayers to shorten their time of purification. These souls are our ancestors, our loved ones, and perhaps even strangers who have crossed paths with us in the tapestry of life. They are waiting, suspended between the earth and heaven, for a divine intervention that can only come through our spiritual acts of compassion. Their existence is a stark reminder of our interconnectedness, the invisible threads that bind us across the realms of life and death. The message from purgatory is clear, our prayers hold the power to influence the destiny of these souls. Maria Sima's revelations emphasize that our spiritual actions on earth can accelerate their journey towards heaven. Through acts of mercy, we have the power to transform their suffering into peace. Consider the profound significance of praying for these souls. Each prayer is a beacon of light in their darkness, a lifeline that draws them closer to the eternal embrace of God. One poignant aspect of Maria's teachings concerns the souls of aborted or stillborn children. These innocent lives, whose earthly journeys were cut short, find themselves in a state of peaceful waiting, often referred to as limbo or children's paradise. Maria's revelations shed light on how we can honor these children through specific acts, baptizing them symbolically, arranging requiem masses in their memory, and giving them names. Each of these acts serves as a powerful gesture of love, ensuring they are welcomed into the divine family and recorded in the Book of Life. Maria recounts a moving story of a nurse in Vienna who dedicated her life to baptizing stillborn and aborted babies. Her unwavering commitment to these tiny souls transformed her final moments, as the children she had baptized accompanied her in her passage to the afterlife. This story is a vivid reminder of the profound impact our acts of mercy can have, both on the souls we help and on our own spiritual journey. In the realm of abortion, Maria Sima's message takes on a gravity that cannot be ignored. Abortion is described as one of the greatest tragedies of our time, 
a profound injustice that reverberates through the corridors of eternity. The spiritual weight of this act is immense, and the consequences for humanity are severe. The souls of those lost through abortion cry out for justice and redemption. Their plight a stark reminder of the grave sin and the need for collective repentance. For those who have experienced abortion, the path to healing and forgiveness is illuminated by Maria's teachings. The first step is acknowledging the gravity of the act, seeking forgiveness through confession, and engaging in sincere penance. By naming the child, arranging for baptism and mass, and offering heartfelt prayers, one can find peace and assist the child in their journey towards heaven. This process is not merely about seeking forgiveness, but about embracing the divine mercy that can transform even the darkest sorrow into hope. As we stand at the threshold of this spiritual reality, we are invited to act. The souls in purgatory and the unborn children are not distant entities, but are part of our shared existence. Their suffering calls us to embrace a life of compassion, prayer, and spiritual responsibility. Maria Sima's revelations are not just historical accounts. They are living invitations for us to participate in the divine economy of grace. We are called to a profound act of spiritual solidarity, to join in the divine plea for redemption and relief. Each prayer, each act of love, each gesture of mercy contributes to a grand tapestry of grace that binds us all in the pursuit of eternal salvation. This is not a task for the distant future, but an urgent call to action in our present lives. Reflect on the power that lies within your reach. By engaging with Maria Sima's message, by embracing the call to pray for the souls in purgatory, and by acting with compassion towards the unborn, you become a vital instrument in the divine plan. Your actions resonate through the realms of existence, affecting the souls who suffer and shaping the eternal destiny of many. As you ponder the weight of this message, remember that your participation is not just an act of faith, but a profound act of love that reverberates through eternity. The souls of purgatory, the unborn children, and the divine mercy of God await your response. This is your moment to act, to transform sorrow into hope, to turn the shadows of suffering into the light of redemption. Brothers and sisters in faith, the message from purgatory is a divine summons to awaken, to embrace our spiritual responsibilities, and to act with profound compassion. Maria Sima's revelations are a beacon of truth, illuminating the path to redemption and calling us to a higher spiritual awareness. Reflect deeply on this message, let it resonate in your heart, and respond with the grace and urgency that this divine plea demands. Share this message with others, engage in the acts of prayer and mercy, and subscribe to the call of divine grace. Together, let us build a world where the souls in purgatory find peace, the unborn receive our love, and the divine mercy of God shines brightly in our lives. May the Lord bless us all as we embark on this sacred journey towards eternal redemption.